Measure to keep schools safe is coming to the metro. A countywide school safety task force is revealing a new concept to help speed up response times in schools during emergencies. And it'll roll out at a Parkway Elementary School. Caroline Hecker tells us when you can expect the program to be at your child's school. Well, imagine being called to an emergency and when you arrive, you aren't quite sure where to go. That's the reality many first responders face when they respond to schools, many of them with complex layouts and unusual room numbering. And when time is of the essence, since this new color coded system aims to get them there and fast. When a school emergency strikes, it's all hands on deck. Police officers, firefighters, and paramedics from different departments all make their way to the scene. But when every second counts, knowing where they're headed down to the room number, is crucial. So we want everybody to have a same sheet of music on how the schools will be labeled and they know what colors that they expect to find first and as they go around the building. A new St. Louis County Fire Code ordinance will soon be adopted by schools countywide, both public and private. Under the ordinance, hallways and rooms are color coded with room numbers visible from both the inside and outside. Colored striping will line the walls easily pointing first responders in the right direction without hesitation. That way they know where they are. Instead of, I'm such and such, I'm hiding in Miss Smith's science room. Well, if you're a first responder hitting that door, you know, on a, on a situation, you're not going to know where Miss Smith's science room is. Highcroft Ridge Elementary in the Parkway School District will now serve as a model for districts countywide, with implementation of the system underway. The color-coded system offers consistency across jurisdictions and departments, making navigating an unfamiliar school without a map easier. I would like to stand here in front of you to tell you that I know every one of these buildings forwards and backwards. I don't. You know, it's, that's not reality. But what I can tell you, as soon as I make entry in that building, I immediately know where I'm at by that color coding system. Now, the system can also be used in weather and medical emergencies, too. And Assistant Chief Cruz says he got the idea, actually, from a district in Franklin County. Now, districts will be expected to adopt and pay for this system over the next school year, more or less. But St. Louis County is hopeful the $20 million dedicated by Governor Mike Parson to school safety can be used as grant money by districts to help them pay for the system. Sam. All right, Caroline, thank you. The family.